grind lead code or build projects the age old question here's how to know let me ask you a question and don't answer this emotionally answer it honestly how many interviews are you actually getting right now not how many applications you've sent not many hours you've spent grinding lead code i mean real interviews because the answer to that question determines everything you should be doing next and if you mess this up you can waste years of your life so here's the lie everyone is sold our enemy the youtube gurus the reddit advice threads and the boot camps have been selling you the same same story. If you just grind enough lead code, success is inevitable, but that's the lie. And it's seductive because it feels productive. You open up neat code, you solve your daily problem, you watch someone speed run dynamic programming. You feel like you're improving, but here's the uncomfortable truth. What if lead code isn't the reason you're not getting hired at all? Let me explain. All right, super quick announcement and then back to the video. So my team of Aang engineers and I, we are taking on a few more clients to work directly with us for the next six months. This is not a course. In fact, it's the complete opposite. This is actually a mentorship program. We will personally rewrite your resume, help you get dozens of referrals, run you through mock interviews one-on-one, -on -one, build you an amazing portfolio, and really work with you every step of the way until you land your dream offer. If that sounds fair, just click the link in the description to book a free call with me. I'll look at your situation. I'll see what you need to improve. Again, just click the link in the description, book that free call, and now back to the video. Here's the page. It's in the description. So I actually fell for the same trap. Before I got into Amazon, on and Google, I was just another student drowning in noise. Everyone said the same thing. Just grind more lead code. Just memorize more patterns. Just do the blind 75 again. And I bought into it. I was already disciplined. I do lift every day. I'm in shape and I don't quit easily. So I did what disciplined people do. I took the advice and I outworked everyone when it came to lead code. But nothing changed for me. I didn't get any more interviews. I didn't get any callbacks. I didn't get any traction. And if you relate to that, you need to listen to this because that's when I realized something that completely flipped the game. The hard truth is that effort without direction is just ego in disguise. A lot of people inflate their egos by telling themselves that they're putting in all this effort, but it's not actually doing anything. And so here's the fork in the road, and every candidate eventually hits this critical decision point. You can either A, continue to grind harder, keep grinding lead code harder and harder and harder and hope someone notices, or take path B and ask the scary question, why isn't anyone even inviting me to an interview? Ask yourself this. Most people never even ask that second question because the answer is so painful. What if interviews aren't earned by technical skill, but by something else entirely? Let me explain. So here's the real truth, and this will trigger some people. It will piss some people off. If you're not getting interviews, leak code is almost irrelevant. That's not an opinion. That's just how hiring actually works, because here's what recruiters don't see. They're not going to see your leak code streak. They're not going to see your 300 solved problems or however many you've solved. They're not going to see your blind 75 completion or how many hours you've spent studying advanced algorithms. Algorithms. What they do see is your resume, your projects, your signal, and real engineering work. So if your resume screams generic student who follow tutorials, and if that sounds painful to hear, then it's probably you, then you are dead on arrival. But don't worry, there is a way out. Let me tell you about Jack, one of my clients. He had 250 plus lead code problems solved, but zero real projects. His resume was full of buzzwords. He was confused, frustrated, and thought the system was rigged. But the system wasn't rigged. He was just invisible. The system still works, right? Some people are landing interviews and offers, so it must be possible. The solution, we stopped lead code completely just for a bit. Instead, we rebuilt his resume from scratch and we had him implement an AI project that looked like real engineering work. A few weeks later, he had multiple interview requests. Same student, same brain, same intelligence, same lead code stats, but different strategy. And let me tell you about another one of my clients. Let's call him Eric. And this one is really going to hammer in for you why smart people stay stuck. He was different. He actually was getting interviews, but he kept building more projects anyways, right? Even projects have a point of diminishing returns. He kept putting out more notebooks, more repos, just one more project was what he kept saying. But guess what happened? He kept failing his interviews because he made the opposite mistake. Here's the truth most people don't want to hear. Once you're getting interviews, projects don't matter as much anymore. That's when you need to grind lead code. At that point, your resume already works. Your portfolio already passes the filter. Now you're failing on execution. So Eric didn't need more projects, he needed communication skills, clarity, mock interviews with me, and the ability to think under pressure. That's what LeetCode does help you build. So when we shifted 
him to mock interviews, structured answer frameworks, and whiteboard communication drills, he passed offer in hand. So if you're ready to get personalized help, I need to say this clearly. If you want help diagnosing which phase of the application process you're even stuck in, if you want someone who's been through Amazon and Google and helped countless students do the same, all the success stories are at the link in the description, then you need to book a free call with me. This isn't a course. This isn't generic advice or pre-recorded videos. You'll work directly with me. This is hands-on execution at the resume level, portfolio level, and interview level personalized guidance. Though I do have to say this is for serious students only. If you're ready to take action, the application link is available. All you have to do is book a free 15 minute call with me. So again, phase one, let me make this clear for you. If you're not getting any interviews, then you need to stop grinding lead code because it's not helping you get in the door. Your time is better spent elsewhere right now. You need to fix your resume, rebuild it from scratch and focus on impactful quantitative impact for real engineering work. And again, if you want my help rewriting your entire resume, the link is in the description. You need to build signal heavy projects, not cookie cutter tutorials. Create projects that look like real engineering work, not tutorial clones. Your singular goal in phase one is just to start getting some interviews on your calendar. Everything else is a distraction at this point. Phase two is if you are getting interviews and you might be here right now. You need to stop obsessing over projects in your resume at this point. Your portfolio has already worked. Building more projects isn't going to help you pass the interviews. What you need to do is just drill mock interviews. Practice real interview scenarios under time pressure with feedback. And you need to master communication. You need to focus on exploring explaining your thought process clearly, not just writing fast code. And this is the one most people overlook. Everyone thinks that preparing for interviews is just about grinding leak code. Now, I have to admit, when you're preparing for interviews, when you actually have interviews scheduled on your calendar, that is when you need to be grinding leak code. But communication is often more important. I can't tell you how many interviews I've observed for classmates, colleagues, and clients, where if they didn't even solve the problem completely correctly, as long as they explained their thought process, they were still able to get the offer. Communication outweighs technical skill, even for technical interviews. Your singular goal in phase two is to convert interviews into offers, projects, or relevant at this point. And so here's the fatal mistake that most people make. In phase one, they grind lead code endlessly, even if they're not getting any interviews, which obviously isn't going to lead to anything. And in phase two, they build more projects, even when they're already getting interviews. But at that point, they need to focus on interview prep. So here's what actually works. In phase one, fix your resume. In phase two, practice interviews and communication once you're actually getting callbacks. And in phase one, or really the mistake, this backwards approach keeps people stuck, but the strategic approach matches effort to the actual bottleneck or constraint of the system. And so here's the final message I want to leave you with. This isn't about grinding harder. It's just about playing the right game at the right time. You can put in all the effort, but if you grind projects at the wrong time, and if you grind lead code at the wrong time, it's not going to matter. And that's why most hardworking students still stay stuck. I didn't get into Amazon and Google by blindly following the crowd. And my students didn't get offers by copying advice from Reddit. They won because they understand the system. And now it's your turn. If you want personalized help, if you want someone to just tell you exactly what to do in your specific situation, apply for coaching with me, book a free call at the link in the description. The other option is to just keep going about this alone. And otherwise you risk that you keep grinding the wrong thing and wondering why nothing is changing. That's the real tragedy when you're putting in the effort and it just goes to waste. This is your move. The link is in the description. My calendar is open, but spots are limited. So I look forward to talking to you soon.